Hello everybody, my name is Sinno and welcome back to Lisa the Unbreakable and what is probably the final episode in our playthrough, which has been a very long journey and I'm really excited to see how it ends. It's been pretty good so far. There are some things that I'm not too huge on, but otherwise this has been a pretty solid fan game. Before we finish the playthrough, there are a couple bosses that we need to beat and apparently Dragunov is over here-ish. He's at the top of the prison, so I don't see anyone though. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, Timmy, it's you again. Hi, how does that work? Why were you? I, okay. Uh, 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 anyway, cool. I'll do Java toss. Great. That's so weird. Why are you so weird? <laughs> Why? Um, there we go. So AWA, Javelin toss. We're just going to go through the, the motions. I don't think Dragonov is a very strong boss, at least from what we saw. So hopefully not... Not going to be too scary here, but... Uh, 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 oh, oh, bye. I don't, don't, don't stop. Are you, are you just in here? He found a bag of quarters. Yay. Found an electric shaver. Why would I want to... Oh, oh, how to explain his glistening body. Now I feel just like Jordan Friedman. Yeah, babe. That's a Half-Life reference, yeah? Anyway, got a crowbar. Yay. And an electric shaver. Which I'm not... <laughs> what am I... I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I, I got it. A dangerous item. Handle it responsibly. May uncover uncomfortable secrets. That's putting it lightly. Alright, well, we, uh... We did it, I guess. I just want to say that I enjoy this game. And I think it's pretty solid. I think this is the worst part. Running around and looking for an enemy is a lot less appealing than fighting the enemy and just moving on with your day, yeah? Yeah, it's the sneezy guy. Can't have shit at this time in LA. Oh, it's right here, yeah. So we're all rest up real quick. I'm not gonna bother saving because we're gods amongst men. <clears throat> oh, hi. What? I'm afraid that's my spot. There's plenty of room next to the cliffside, which is honestly the scariest place to sleep. Just saying. <laughs> oh my, Tim! Excuse me, sir. No. Tim, just, just roll over, Tim. You mean to- Oh! Oh no, he's getting naked. You know, the only way we settle things here. Oh my god. Oh, I know. Kendrick Takeshi, he's got little pants on and bright pepperoni nipples, which is honestly a staple of Olight at this point. Lucius posing, looking good. He's depressed, all right. I hit the wrong button, but that's, you know, I actually just wanted to build up TP, you know? This is kind of, it's, that's the real play. The twin knees, big damage. Chin is helping us out. Dazed, so we actually don't need to worry anymore. Oh, Lucius is so cool. It was always like AWAA, yeah, Northern Lights Bomb. We have enough, it's 40, so big damage. Kendrick's not really fighting back. Kinda hoping for something here, Canadian Destroyer. There we go, there's the damage I wanna see. All right, so we're gonna do everything again. Uh, we'll have Carl heal Chen. Cause while Carl puts out some serious damage, I kinda like having Chen be on the offensive, yeah? He has the option to daze, which I think's really nice. So Javelin Toss, we do not have enough. Oh, you're pretty good. Oh. He's dead. All right. I feel like the, the fights are, you know, like edging me. Like I'm not, they're not really there yet in terms of difficulty. All right. All right. Sorry to disturb you, sir. All right, I'm asleep in this spot. Oh, he did. <laughs> why are we fighting that? He's just sleeping right next to us. And he's gone. All right, cool. Well, we defeated him. So that's one down off of our list. Hello. Wherever there's a threat of hair being threatened by a criminal clipper. I'll be there. Oh, he's died of confusion? Oh, wasn't there a guy in the prison who said he got a haircut? Is that what that is? That man with great hair is totally wigging out. I understand what he's doing, but that shaving club just dropped dead. What a senseless waste of human life. Why is there a shaving club? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Is that just... <laughs> All right, cool, I guess. Neat. All right, let's... I. So, I'll be honest with you. I'm completely lost. I don't know where I'm going uh, for the Kong at this point because the... Oh, hi. Hey. So I says to... Hey, what are you doing in the middle of our conversation? Get out of here. Wonderful. Magnificent. That's great. Okay. Hey, brother. Get up to close. Give me a hard time. Sure. Please show me a shortcut. 
Get me out of here. Thank you. Where, where the fuck am I? All right, I'm at Hagger Mountain. That's not where I want to be. I'm not too big on this knuckle thing where it's kind of teleporting me to places I don't want to be at. Okay, now we're to the left. All right, great. I really feel like if the, the door says to go to Kong, then why does it not lead directly to Kong? Why does it lead to the banana stand, which isn't near Kong? So we've actually already went through the dialogue in the previous episode, so I'm not going to go through it. Anyway, this guy can see them all coming. We did not equip the rocket launcher because I'm not going to cheese this fight. I am actually just going to... Uh, he has a foresight, so I think we just guard, yeah? I think? That seems like the right play, yeah? If a guy's anticipating all your moves, you just don't attack him then? Carl found domestic jerky, nice. And do a lot of damage. Uh, let's let's try. It. Let's see what he does. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? Let's see what let's see what he means by anticipating. Lucius is so cool. Hey, he doesn't have depression anymore. If only it was that easy. Okay, blaster wave, which looks awesome. Didn't do too much, but whatever. So he's resisting. He's dazed. God, Carl is so cool. He is so awesome. By the way, I love that character. That right there is a chronological contusion. <laughs> So we don't have enough TP to use Northern Lights Bomb. Uh, so we're just going on a hammer elbow. Might as well. Lots of damage. We're going to do twin knees. I actually want to do... Uh, there's a different ability. I don't remember the input for it, though. So we'll look it up here in a moment. Not bad. Not bad. A lot of damage in all your days. The Gorilla Cycle. <laughs> all right. Now we're talking. And what was... Ooh, the Chin Typhoon. A forbidden technique. Raging Energy Pillars, SSA. Okay, let's try it. So Carl's going to be back up at full HP. Lucius is depressed. I wish I could help him. Not too much damage. Jowan tossed, so it was like SA? No, it wasn't. What was it? My brain is so... <laughs> Whenever I do commentary for Let's... Oh, Jen. Oh, God. Tim, Javelin Toss. I really like Javelin Toss because it's cheap and just does some decent damage. Will you stop? I'll put you in a world of ligamental legation. I don't understand your business speak, funny man, but I like it. Oh, God, I don't like that. I hate that he keeps saying that. Here we go. Uh, I'm actually just going to pull twirl here and start building up TP. I want to use some different moves here. Ooh, that is not good. Oh, my God, Lucius. And then it was SSA. Here we go, Chin Typhoon. Oh, that is cool. That didn't do a lot of damage. I don't think that's worth. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it's still going. Okay, it's not going anymore. Cool. Great. That is you know, a lot of attacks there, buddy. Well, we'll take a turn to just kind of focus on healing. Yeah. So Cyclone Kick doing some damage. Pretty solid. Jin is healing up. Lucius should be back to full. Yeah, power bomb. Please do not kill. That's a good miss. Lucius, I need you up immediately. This is actually... This is kind of the difficulty I wanted with some of these other enemies. This is actually nice. We have been actually kind of put on the back foot this whole time, and I get what people kind of said the rocket launcher was a, a kind of a good idea because a lot of the fight seems to be just resurrect... It seems to be just resurrecting shit over and over. Well, he right. You know what? I'm just not going <laughs> to... What? That is the best... That is the best attack in the game. That is actually the best attack in the game. What? That was amazing. Okay. Oh, whoa, okay, that is not good. So Lucius is going to heal. Tim is going to get chin up. Everybody's back up. Hopefully we don't die here. Hit Tim, hopefully. Okay, Lucius, he's going to die. Uh, we're actually going to have uh, Tim attack because we need to start putting out damage. We can't just keep dicking around. Jin's gonna go, because they die on every hit, essentially, anyway. So, defense up, fresh up. So, SSWA, we do not have enough. My empire comes to an end like this. I'll see you in your worst nightmares. Oh! Oh! I mean, uh, level 15, cool. Everybody leveled up, got a golf club. Oh, that's so much- It's so much more satisfying when you beat him in a fight, rather than just using a rocket launcher to the face, but the rocket launcher is also it had its own charm to it. But anyway, uh, that is the last person on our list. Just heal up real quick. We have so many items. We don't really need to worry anymore. So we're only use the Shogun's knuckle, take a hit. And uh, yeah, here is, uh, oh, you know what? I should probably, just to be safe, 
you know, it's it's a new new thing. Could be a boss, could not be, but just to be safe. And uh, yeah, here we go. All right, thank you. That's all of them. Fantastic. Looks like I'm gonna let you through now. The boss is looking pretty proud of you. Don't disappoint him. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is that mountain we saw and we never interacted with. Oh, hey. Oh, my. What? Yo. Whoa. Oh, it happened again. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. It's not as funny as it is. Brother, I wasn't where anyone would be able to make it out this far. Take extreme care ahead. He lives a great warrior. They say he's a long history of fine getting slapped around. Presumably nothing else left to do. Let's dive right into it. Huh? Shall we? Ooh, hi. Hello. No freaking way. Holy crap. It can't be. The legendary. Oh, I thought we were talking the Power Ranger mask. <laughs> you made it this far, and you beat up all the fighters in this corner of the world. So you think you could fight? Let me tell you something. You'll want to be pretty careful around me. That's... I... What am I looking at? They are shredded. Oh my god. Because I can be pretty ugly when I'm angry. So prepare yourself. You cannot defeat Karnov. Karnov? Hi. Hello. Oh, hi. Karnov. Okay. So, honestly, I, I thought about using the rocket launcher because it'd be funny, but... I don't know. I just gotta. I kind of want to see this fight in of itself because I I'm kind of pumped to see how uh, difficult the boss can be. But also, I kind of you know it would have been funny. It, it would have been funny if we had <laughs> used it though. To be fair. Anyway, super fresh pose. Everything's looking good. All right. Pretty decent damage. We're going to need to heal pretty often. I feel on this one. Without Shin, we're kind of kind of looking a little rough. I, I didn't realize how dependent we would be on... Okay. Lucius has fallen. We need to take care of that. So we don't have Carl heal Lucius. And we'll just keep doing Cyclone Kick. I really like this damage. I think it's solid enough. Oh, this music is good. Oh, this is nice. Anyway, let's do Hirai. We'll just keep spamming Cyclone Kick. Oh, hey. Good crits. Pretty good damage overall. Like, it's about a thousand every attack which is honestly really solid uh so we are actually going to let's do disco inferno just for the damage yeah hopefully he doesn't kill lucius because of this but you know we're build up tp so we're not going to do any abilities here oh my god it's still it's the best it's the best ability it reminds me so much of terry don't know oh the music's really good i don't know if lucius is going to live this turn but fuck it here we go so SSWA for Cyclone Kick. We have just enough. Good damage. Okay, Lucius survived. Oh, maybe not for long. Okay, he goes down. We're gonna have to use a perfume to get him back up, but still, pretty good damage overall. Man, this music is so good. So Pole Twirl, just to build up TP. This music is actually insane. This music is actually so good. Oh my. Oh. Uh, mmm, super fresh pose, I guess. Is this gonna heal? We might die here because of this. Okay, we don't really have a lot of AoE heals, I think. Okay, we're all move. Okay, I was gonna say we'll move Lucius to healer duty, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Now let's do Blaster Wave. So DSAWD, and Carl is going to res Lucius. DSAWD, Blaster Wave, hopefully big damage because he's low HP. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, God. Oh, that might be it. That is actually what we actually, we lost. That is a first. Like that's actually a first for us. I, I'm kind of excited now. Okay, I have a new strategy. Now I probably should have been doing this from the start, but now that I know about it, I think this is going to be pretty good. So I'm going to Disco Inferno. And I'm going to actually just bust these out. So we're on attack here. He's going to yes, 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 uh, Carl. And Carl is going to shoot. Here we go, heat right. Hopefully we can get our Disco Inferno off because that seems like the best bet to winning here. Man, yes, yes, yes is such a strong ability, but not 
we we can't really survive this he does so much damage we shouldn't perfume carl because lucius will die then so i'm gonna disco inferno and hope this kills maybe it maybe have enough damage best ability in the game but you you were like a flea to me hey we did it oh my god all right level 16 36 my that's all we got for killing him? Amazing. You have won the respect of Karnov. You have a ways to go still, but you're pretty good for the new fighters in town. Take this as a consolation prize for defeating Karnov. Why do you talk in third person, but don't all you don't stick to it, you know? It's only sometimes. But I'll have my revenge one day. Bye. Amazing. Thought I'd never get to meet him. Well, me neither. Me neither. All right, Got the sun slammer. You are a true gamer. <laughs> nice. Tim fella, you had a very nice day. Thank God, finally. People can respect my credentials and understand that I'm a true gamer. When they see my sun slammer, though, they'll know. Okay, cool. So we've, uh, yeah, that's, that's it, right? We, we defeated everyone. Oh. You got a Shogun's headband? Oh, nice. An artifact that shouldn't be. Maybe you shouldn't wear it. <laughs> Fuck that. No, of course I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> Why would I not? So he is right over here, I believe, at the boat. That's the Shogun, my best friend. I... God damn. <laughs> Why did... All right, I... You know, I, I just... I thought it would jump automatically. That's my... <laughs> we'll be right back. Here we go. For sure this time. Hello, our final battle is now at hand. If you win, the fridge and the girl are yours, and I'll help you with safe passage off this island. <laughs> you, you think you're still gonna be alive? I mean, really? But if you lose, your body will rot in the depths of this river forever. Now please, hit my music. <laughs> Why? B boss we haven't rehearsed. Somebody swiped our sheet music. What? Huh. Then jocks, please hit my cassette. You just have a guy's head there? Who are- who is Magnus? I'll personally carve your headstone, Mr. McCoppin. Sleep well. What? What's happening? Why is it so epic? Uh, why can't I use Lucius? Oh god, maybe I shouldn't have equipped this. Maybe equipping the headband was a terrible idea. Um, I- ooh. Oh! Oh! So Lucius can't use abilities, but he's like incredibly tanky. He's basically just a magnet, yeah? Well, that's not as fun then. Shit, I should have read what it did. Okay. Oh, that's- that's gonna make this fight, um... Oops. <laughs> so does Magnus's armor just show his muscle, like his abs? Is that- is that what I'm seeing? Okay, so I swapped him to the blue headband. Here we go. Now we can actually have a real fight and it's gonna be actually enjoyable and it'll be good and hopefully I won't die immediately. So here we go. Tiger suplex, there we go. A little more damage now. And now he's not just going to be wailing on Lucius for the whole fight. It'll be, you know, him hitting us sometimes, but mostly Lucius. <laughs> so Heat Ray. Okay. Oh, that's so much better. All right. I love that we're taking damage. That's what I want. I want to have a real boss fight, you know? All right. So Heat Ray doing decent damage. We're on attack. You know, we are actually going to... Let's super fresh pose. I wanted to do Disco Inferno. I think it's better that Lucius doesn't die for nothing. Oh, we almost had enough TP. All right. Fresh in defense. Uh, probably gonna have Lucius heal next turn. Oh, actually, you know what? The damage is better for Disco Inferno, so we'll have Carl heal. Oh, not that much. Oh, that's so good. That is the best. Oh my god. That is so cool. It, it's very much on the, the level of Terry's ability, which was the, the hottest dance, the super hottest dance. I don't remember what the final one was called. I love it. Okay, he's geared up. It's a little scary if I remember, but uh, let's just do this. So pull a twirl. Decent damage. Come on. Not too much. Oh, he was dazed and I didn't even pay attention. I'll have him pose again. He right. You know what? Just going to keep. Oh, God, Carl. Okay, he's just stunned. He's not dead, which is what matters. Cyclone kick, big damage. Lucius is opposing. We're almost to Disco Inferno. We need to heal Carl this turn. Normally. I would have Tim attack, but I think it's better if Lucius actually builds up TP here. Oh my god, he's alive. All right. Just run it back over and over again, right? Cyclone kit. Oh, we were one TP off. God, that is so good. 
He has to... There's no way he has a lot of HP, yeah? Like, there's no way he has a lot of HP. So I am actually going to use Epicola here on Lucius. I assume this is the final boss. So what I'm going to do next turn is we're going to use that Super Pepicola. Because it seems like, I mean, this is the end of the game. Yeah, I might as well check it out. Carl's going to heal Lucius, and hopefully he doesn't die here. Hopefully. Okay, Carl might die instead. That's fine. So a bunch of Pulse Worlds to build up TP. Big damage. Maybe kill. Maybe. How could I have ever... How could you do this? Oh my god, is that the mask guy? No running away forever. What? Tim's party. What? Wait. Wait. I. Where? Yeah. Never doing that again. Ugh, my ear feels like shit. I think he chopped your ear off, is what that said. Where is this? I don't know, Tim. Oh, hey, it's Carl. Hey. Dad. Well, I'm not real, son. You're dreaming again. Oh. Tim. Especially considering what we've been through in the last few days, you should know not to trust me by now. I'm not the man you used to know. I don't know how much left of Carl there is really. Why does that mean? What do you mean? We've really been fine. But I understand that your father, wherever he is now, always was looking out for you. Or not. You're still in a dream after all. Remember that dreams can sometimes show us things we don't want or aren't ready to see. Roman Cobb rejoins you. Did he? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hi, hello. Bag of perfume, metal straight jacket. I don't know where I am, but I'm here. Oh my, all right, that is, ooh, hey. Okay, hi Brad, what is going on? Oh, hey. oh, oh God, brother, thanks for doing something about my brothers. I'm alone in the world now, but I'm out of the bad situation I was in. Even if it was a little, you did do something big to help my life. Okay, I mean, I'm glad, what is this? Okay, the music just suddenly stopping throws me off. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, it's Lucius. Hey, Lucius. Hey, dog. Do you really care for me? I know we're friends, but a lot of the time I feel like a big character exists for the wrong reasons. Maybe I exist only so you can say you have a cool black friend. Or maybe I'm the goofy comic relief. Maybe I... Well, I had to know, buddy. I don't really know who I am. That shouldn't matter, because I don't think you do either. Just don't look down on me if I hang around a little longer. What? Lucius Butt? Is that his name? <laughs> Wait, is that his actual name? Oh, Lucius though. Lucius is a great character though. I, I love like having a, a side character that's actually kind of exploring the whole bit character thing. Wait, I, I know you. Well, it's me, Gideon. We didn't talk much. I don't know how much use I'd have been, but I feel bad about getting left out of this quest. Maybe there's another world I could have been a hero in. I don't think there are any heroes left in this world. That's all I think you should stop trying to be one. Oh, was that maybe a party member we could have gone instead of Carl? Well, hey, Joel. I told you I don't... Well, I told you I don't go by that name anymore, Tim. My name's Apollo now. <laughs> that's a... That's a leap in name changing. You've got some real strength of will for a guy who doesn't know anything about what he's doing. You need more direction than you have. You need to avoid getting duped into something much bigger than you. Like you have now. Oh. Oh, hey! Oh, it's our group! Anthony. Sorry, Tim. You're on your own. This is where my story ends. I'm glad I could play a part in yours for a little longer. Shup. You really got a lot of mileage out of that technique I taught you. I hope Sako's okay with what he's done. You ever asked him about who he is? I mean, how he feels? He's a sock puppet, so no. Oh, okay, maybe I'll ask how Sako feels. Tim, can you hear me? It's me, Sako. I know we haven't talked in a while. Try and get through this. I can try. But this is a lot. It can be hard accepting that things are coming to an end. Especially when there's so much left to do you didn't get the chance to. Am I... Am I dead? Maybe sometimes the best option really is to give up. It's not healthy to dream about some things for so long. I kind of disagree, but I also understand what you mean. Oh! Oh, he oh! Hey! Good timing, brother. Yeah, very good timing. Now get out of our water. Sorry. I just... Okay, I love how big Hagger Mountain is. He's like, just <laughs> he dwarfs everyone there. Okay, I, I, sure? all right, bye, I guess. I'll be over here. Hey, is that it? It, my head hurts. I, oh, oh God. 
anti-Tim. What is happening? <laughs> I thought I was gonna fight the big boy. Oh my- Oh, the fridge is gone. Cool. I guess I'll find anti-Tim. Or nobody. Alright, here we go. Ew. Oh, uh, your claws? You mean Socko? Do I need to, like, embrace him or something? Like, hug him? And Scott Pilgrim, they just talked it out, but I don't know what to do here. Pose one more time. We're gonna do Cyclone here. He's begging for forgiveness. Can I... Can I forgive him? He's dazed. I guess I'll Socko him. That's forgiveness, I guess. <laughs> I kind of wish I could forgive him, but all right. I mean, this is fine, too. I'll well, hammer elbow. Lots of damage. Oh, oh, he's back. Understand that the only thing you're afraid of is the idea that life as you know it is going to come to an end. Maybe very suddenly. Personally, I don't care about that kind of thing. I'm a nobody. Whether I live or die or not has no bearing on the outcome of the world, like some. Maybe you did something to warn what's coming for you now. I wouldn't know. Maybe it'll be what it takes to finally wake you up. Thank you, Anti-Tim. Oh my... <laughs> that was like the most perfect timing. All right, here we go. So I'm going to do this. I am going to a vintage crystal Pepe Cola Lucius. I love this sequence. It's a very stark contrast to the beginning of this episode where I was feeling a little frustrated having to deal with running around. But this is a lot better. This this game is a lot better off having more moments like this. Story-driven moments, yeah? Anyway, Disco Inferno. We're not gonna bother healing. I feel like we can damage through it, yeah? Big damage? Alright, it's not as much as I was hoping for, but still pretty good. But you've got a lot more fight in you than I thought you were worth. Perhaps there's hope for us yet. Oh my, he chopped an ear off again. Wait, what was his name? Balrog? Tim was defeated. Oh my god, my ears. Why do you keep chopping my ears off? Why? No, seriously, why? Tim. I didn't want to have to come this far to do this. I'm sorry. The world's going to end very soon. That happens. I hope you're going to be one of the people who wake up. I believe in you. Don't forget that. Okay. Thank you. Is this all? Is this still about the girl in the fridge? Oh! Hi. Hands on your head, little Miss Sunshine. What you looking so dopey for? Snap out of it. You ain't daydreaming anymore. Yang, you grab him. I'll check the room for the girl. Oh, Harry, you guard the door. Heavy D, stay put. See, Timmy? I told you. All right, then. Lights out, Timmy. What? Okay. Hello. This has this has sequel written all over it, by the way. All right, keep it quick. The black guy needs to talk too. Oh my! I have we not have we lost an ear? Is it not? Tim, it'll kill you if this keeps up. You have to hold on. If you can't, press shift three times. Okay. Oh, oh I'm pressing it. I, I'm pressing it. Okay. You know, a girl don't just pop up out of nowhere. Someone wants to hide her. They better do a good job. You pal didn't do a very good job at all. I don't like people trying to hide things from me. I don't even know who you are. I don't even know what's going on. I don't. I was in a dream sequence and now I'm here. Now my head's getting bashed in. <laughs> Holding on, but Tim might not be. Starting to feel that pain now, aren't you, buddy? My name's Tim, actually, but he's a completely different character. You ain't never felt a lick of real pain in your life, I bet. I know I lost an ear. You grew up in a cushy suburban little spot, had friends, kept your room a lot of the time. I hate, I hate when people assume things as if that means you never had any problems. Mom and dad probably broke up when you were in high school. It's probably the, oh my. This is, this is the speech from Goodwill Hunting. You motherfucker. So in other words, no, you never really felt nothing for real. You only have 1,846 8, HP left, Tim. Only 1,846, huh? Any minute now. You don't know what you've gotten yourself into at all. I'm healing, kinda. <laughs> I like that I get to do it when it's not even popped up. This girl. The idea she and others are out there? That means a lot to me. You're the kind of little punk who ever wants to live in someone else's shadow. Never even had a girl back home. You're only chasing this one because it would make me daddy proud of your back. I didn't even want this girl. It's just a body in a fridge. You haven't got a strong bone in your body, boy. 
Can't even get pity points for the broken leg. Because I know for a fact that thing ain't broken. What? Didn't think you would be able to tell? I mean, when I'm sprinting around, I mean, I've broken enough legs to know what it looks like. You're a shitty actor on top of everything else. You disgust me. You only have 1,846 HP left. Uh, the, the, the picture's actually wrong with Tim. We should actually be regaining all that blood. Just sucking back into our orifices. Jesus, you can stop there. I didn't even ask him anything. Probably didn't know anything anyway. Shouldn't have gone in our way. I did I didn't. I was just here. I just existed. Go ahead and leave if you want. I want to wait for the light to leave his eyes. Oh, okay. Tell the bald man he can have his prisoner back now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not the bald man. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, God, we're dead. Hey, do I go? Oh, oh. Uh, what the fuck is that? Tim. Timothy Alvin McCoppin. I know you. We've been talking for a long time now. Socko? Are you? How do you know my name? Because you're dreaming. You're in control of this even if it feels like you're not. What? Am I? Yes, you're dreaming, Tim. Maybe not in the sense that you understand. Oh, I was gonna say, are we dead? I definitely thought we were dead. Have you ever dreamed of sleeping with a woman again? Did you cry when you awoke and realized she was dead? Maybe a part of you felt like you were still dreaming. Maybe she was just sleeping and you could wake her up somehow. And you chased after her when she went missing as if she was still alive. She was important to you even though you didn't know her. Why did you? I don't know, man. Pussy does a thing, all right? It just it does a thing to you. You don't, You lose all sense of rhyme and reason, all right? You just do it. I don't know. Well, have you ever had an experience like this? Chasing after a girl in a world where there are no girls? What was that experience like? What did you make you feel? Do you know why you always seem to wake up before you hit the ground? I think it's because dreams can only reconstruct what you've already experienced. You can't dream about something you never felt or done. Your dreams are insipid and painless, Tim. The only thing you fear is the vague notion that life as you know it might come to a sudden end. Because you've never felt pain. Nobody close to you ever died. You weren't responsible for anything. Never had to carry that weight, Tim. You solve problems with childish violence rather than perseverance. Your only friends are a man desperate to call attention to himself, get something to see him for who he really is, who you've ignored, and me. The only one's always looking out for you and putting a voice in your ear. Why is Sako so powerful? <laughs> you lived in a cave in a cold, wet rock in a room with nothing in it. Even as we're dying, we're just getting told off by Sako. Dreams, empty rooms. I like it. That's why I'll use to describe your life. Dreaming in an empty room. How so? You dream about things like these because they reflect on a life you did or could have had. But your dreams don't resolve without fail. Nobody's dreams do. You wake up and the first thing you see are the empty walls of a room. Your room is nothing in it that reflects on who you are, what your life is like, Tim. What does that emptiness in your room say about you? What does that rusty knife and drawings in Bradley's basement say about him? Who? Someone you never met. That's not important. All right, Sokka. Listen, Sokka's doing his best. Sokka's working overtime. All right, Tim, he's talking to other people, not just to you. But what I am saying is that maybe your room doesn't need to stay empty forever. I. It's a little late for me to buy anime posters, man. Are you saying this whole thing was just a dream? Or I'm dying and my brain's talking to itself in its last moments? No, not at all. Everything up until now hasn't been a dream in the traditional sense. I understand that might not make a lot of sense, but trust me. You're still you. You're still very alive, Timothy. And this was real. Maybe things will change when you wake up. Maybe you'll be a different person or not. I'm not sure. Either way, you'll soon return to consciousness. Morning will come. You'll wake in an empty room. You will dream. No more. I... Yay? I guess that's good. That sounds good, right? I... What happened? <laughs> wake up oh god it's happening again this is really neat i like the concept behind it it's a little confusing for my tiny youtuber brain tim tim are you awake are you all right dad is that you it's me i'm so glad to see you're still alive i guess i am i've been having weird dreams weird things people talking to me about dreams empty rooms i don't get it I'm just happy I'm awake and not dead. That's very good to hear. Cut it pretty close. The corner of Olath we were in got wiped. By the devil who walked like a man. I have a feeling that's what took your ear. 
Oh, you didn't have to remind me. Is this at the start of the apocalypse? Where are we anyway? It's dark. Naval anti-aircraft base off the coast. They built it during the war. Luckily, it was in good enough shape. Our folks reclaimed it without much trouble. Our folks? Are you in with somebody? Hey, Dad. I had a dream about you a while ago. Somebody mentioned your name, I mean. There's a bloody naked man in the corner. They killed him after he realized. Ah, you dreamed of Dr. Maximov. What? Then that wasn't... Oh, no, it happened. He was there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> that was 20 or so years ago. Before, well... You. Oh, Jesus, Dad. I know you work for the government, but... But what? Oddly appropriate, you bring up the good doctor. Why? Thought he was dead. You must understand the situation. Ooh. Dr. Maximov, or what used to be him, is still very much alive, Timothy. He's here in the building. And he wants to see you about the dream you've been having. Oh, yay. Oh. Okay. Very interesting. I'm assuming that this is going to be built on in the update. Or maybe a sequel, like in our chapter. What is that? What was that? Is that... That Sako was that. I don't know what that is, but uh, anyway, I'd rate it pretty high for a Lisa fan game. That's really solid overall, but it's that little bit near the end where you're looking for the bosses that just kind of felt like a drag. And even then at the end with the story, I'm still a little lost with everything that happened and the whole like it's a dream and everything didn't really happen, but it did, but it's not. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of The Unbreakable and whether you like the story or what your views on it are or what you think happened and so on. That's gonna do it for this video though. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye